Herschel Walker had his debate with Raphael Warnock, long awaited for, and as expected, there were some quite goofy, goofy moments. <laughs> we got producer Ben over there oh giggling. Um, I will say, he was a mess, Herschel Walker, that is. Raphael Warnock was pretty solid, but I, I think if you're on the Herschel Walker campaign, you're probably okay with how it went, if that makes sense. Based on the other brutal interviews he's done where he's just completely incapable of uh, getting any thought out. This was still bad, but not complete, you know, campaign sinker, even though his campaign should already have been sunk a long time ago, but that is not American politics these days. So we're going to go through a few moments here. The first is him saying that we got to get people off of government health care. He's not for all that uh, free health care business because he wants you to be independent and get to have the health care that Raphael Warnock has. But Raphael Warnock is a senator, so Raphael Warnock has government health care. Odd connection of thoughts there from Sir Walker. Because if you have an able-bodied job, you're going to have health care. But everyone else have health care is the type of health care you're going to get. And I think that... Doesn't make any sense. It's not, you didn't mishear him. That was just, that is the yeah. problem. And what Senator Warnock want you to do is depend on the government. What I want you to do is get off the government health care and get on the health care he's got to get you a better health care. So that's what I'm trying to do to make you independent rather than dependent. Uh, get you on his health care, the government health care. I agree. I'm with you. I think you're not with you, but I'm with you. Uh, the next moment here was also quite strange. Um, Raphael Warnock calls him out for lying about his record in law enforcement. And by lying about his record in law enforcement, I mean lying that he had a record in law enforcement, mm, uh, that he had a history in it all. Yeah, same. And so if you missed this, Herschel Walker claimed he was an FBI agent and then it got debunked. That wasn't a thing that happened and so now he tries to flip it around and says well I work with many police officers and you'll hear him say watch out for this line in this next moment quote I am work with many police officers okay um, yes agreed <laughs> take a look I have supported our police officers I've called them and I've prayed with their families like those officers lost in Cobb County when they were killed doing what police officers routinely do you can support police officers as I've done through the COPS program, through the Invest to Protect program, while at the same time holding police officers, like all professions, accountable. One thing I have not done, I've never pretended to be a police officer, <laughs> and, and, and I've, never, I've never threatened a shootout with the police. Well, and now I have to respond to that. We are, we are, we are no, moving no, no, on, no. gentlemen. I have to respond to that. And you know what's so funny? I am work with many police officers. <laughs> and at the same time... Mr. Walker, Mr. Walker, no, 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 Mr. Walker, no, no, no. Mr. Walker, Mr. Walker, Mr. Walker excuse me, truth, Mr. Walker. When he so, yes, American politics is a joke. What was that? You hear the crowd just uh, as if we're at a comedy bit, you know, of a comedy show. And... Uh, I am work with many police officers, meaning you aren't someone who serves as an FBI agent. So you were agreeing, no matter how many badges you hold up, <laughs> that you uh, you know <laughs> that you got from a gift shop in the airport, um, you're still lying about this for no conceivable reason. That's such a weird thing to lie about. I never get that type of thing. I mean, okay. How do you even take this man serious? I know. And genuinely, he still has a chance of winning. That's it's, so sad. It is very sad. Uh, next moment, he has one of the most out-of-touch answers to the conversation around lowering insulin costs. So if you're not directly impacted by this, I'll let you know that insulin has gone through the roof and how expensive it is. And it is way more expensive in the United States than all these other countries um, because of a bunch of broken aspects to our system. And so Raphael Warnock, as well as the Biden administration, are a part of an attempt to help people in that. And one of the things they did in the Inflation Reduction Act was capped uh, the cost of insulin for Medicare recipients. 
They wanted to do it for everyone, but Republicans blocked it. So they did get it for just Medicare recipients. And Raphael Warnock is talking about how he supports that and says, listen, Herschel Walker has admitted he wouldn't have voted for this legislation. And Herschel Walker says, yeah, insulin, eh, you know what the real issue is at hand? Y'all should just be eating better. Now, I think we need to promote healthy diets. That's awesome. That doesn't have any, not any to do. That does not answer the question of how do we help people who have to, as a necessity, get insulin um, and are being absolutely price gouged. So really odd and disconnected response here from Herschel Walker. On caps the cost of insulin, he said he would not have voted for the Inflation Reduction Act. And I think he should tell the people of Georgia why he thinks they should have expensive insulin and why the pharmaceutical companies should be able to charge us whatever they like. Well, first of all, may I respond? You know, I believe in reducing insulin, but- I don't care if you believe in it. I care if you'll do something, okay, if you would support legislation that would actually reduce it. But at the same time, you gotta eat right because he may not know, and I know many people that's on insulin, and unless you have a eating right, insulin is doing you no good. So you have to get food prices down, and you gotta get gas down so they can go get insulin. And you continue to pat yourself on the back but right now, families are starving. Right now, families- So then he tries to bring it back to something that would make him look um, better than that. Very, very odd. Okay, so that was the debate that happened on Friday. And then um, later, they were gonna have a second debate. Herschel Walker didn't show up to it. And I loved how this moderator introduced the fact that Herschel Walker wouldn't be at this debate. Early election debate among candidates for the US Senate. Let's meet the candidates for this debate. They are in alphabetical order. Chase Oliver, a libertarian, is a businessman. Herschel Walker, a Republican, <laughs> is a businessman and former professional athlete. Mr. Walker has declined to participate and is represented by an empty podium. Raphael Warnock, a Democrat, is the incumbent senator from Georgia. Now, let's So, uh, yeah, there we go. And. I do think from a strategic point of view, you want to prevent Herschel Walker from being in front of cameras as much as possible. So I see why they did that. Uh, but then during this debate that Herschel Walker wasn't at, Raphael Warnock was calling out his lies in this moment. Because I work for Georgia and I'm not going to be distracted about what Herschel Walker says about me. He doesn't tell the truth about himself. He said that he graduated from college. He didn't. He said he was valedictorian of his class. He wasn't. He said he started a business that doesn't even exist. And the other night when I said you, he pretended to be a police officer, he presented a badge God. as if that were proof that he really is a police officer. And now he wants us to think that he- But he wasn't even saying it was proof that he's a police officer. He was saying it was proof that I am um, work with police officers. As a senator, I think the people of Georgia are wise and discerning. And they know that at the end of the day, I know who I work for. I work for them. Uh, absolutely. And then the last little bit of Herschel Walker news to cram into this segment. Um, he admitted that the check provided by the ex-girlfriend of his, um, revealing that he paid for her abortion, um, was his check, and it was sent to her, but it wasn't for the abortion. Do you right, know what see, this $700 check is for? I have no for? idea what that can be for. Is that your signature I, on the oh, check, though? Let me see. It could be. And it doesn't matter whether it's my signature or not. You know how many checks I've written to That's them bleeping out the ex-girlfriend's name. It doesn't matter if it's my check or not. It doesn't matter if you have proof or not. I'm still going to say it's not true. Come on. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's my check. But I've written, how many checks have I written to the, And you know, she didn't the, have a job then. Yeah. Did she have a job at that time? Do you right, know what see, this seven I'm going to be honest. I like to think of myself as above the average line of intelligence. I try, I want to hold that belief, but when I was preparing for today's show, I really lost a lot of respect to myself because it took me so long to realize they were bleeping out the name of the ex-girlfriend. And I was like, why are they both swearing? Oh. Like, okay, yeah, well, I've written so many checks to beep. <laughs> what, <laughs> what is that? I definitely thought he was cussing until you pointed it out. Yeah, like, that's why I pointed it out. Cause I was like, dang, they're <laughs> dropping the F bomb or something <laughs> mid interview. Okay, Herschel Walker. Um, so <laughs> maybe <laughs> crazy stuff. There it is, Herschel Walker uh, doing what he does.